from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Florida will reopen state parks on Monday. Governor Ron DeSantis says there is a low risk of transmitting the coronavirus during outdoor activity so long as people practice social distancing. The governor also announcing Florida is getting a decontamination system from the federal government. It can clean up to 80,000 N95 masks per day. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity says it will continue to waive the work search requirements for Floridians looking to apply for unemployment. It also says Floridians can now modify their claim filing date, and that lets people get retroactive pay dating back to the day that they lost their jobs. The state is extending food stamp benefits for some families this month, and it comes as the state seeks a, sees a spike in applications for the program known as SNAP. DCF says since declaring a public health emergency, it has received nearly 1 million applications. We're told call volume has also more than doubled. The state is reassigning 1,300 employees to manage calls and process new applications. In other news, JetBlue is looking to suspend service to Tampa International and other large airports through September, and this is due to a decrease in passengers. To suspend the services, it actually needs permission from the federal government. The company filed a request this week. All right, here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, good on everybody. Beautiful start to the day. Temperatures started out in 50s and 60s, warmed up into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. And Futurecast okay. shows another beautiful night in store for the area. Come wake up time, though, temperatures are going to be on the cool side yet again. I think most of us wake up in the 50s if you live east of I-75. If you're closer to the coast, though, probably in the lower 60s. So again, our forecast right on through the overnight. Skies will remain clear. Temperatures kind of cool in the morning before a warm-up begins later on in the day.